Welcome back now. Let's have the news in detail. We start from Argentina, which has become the fifth country to cross 1 million COVID-19 cases with over 26,000 deaths. While India has recorded 587 deaths and nearly 47,000 cases in a day as the caseload is approaching 7.6 million. The global COVID-19 deaths have topped 1.1 million, while over 40.3 million have contracted the virus so far. More details in this report. As the second wave of the coronavirus surges, governments are finding it increasingly tough to reinforce restrictive measures. The U.S., India and Brazil are still the most wrecked countries by the pandemic as it continues to weaken their economy. Latin America is the worst hit region by COVID-19's economic and social fallout. Rising hospitalizations in Mexico are forcing the government to mull fresh restrictions despite economic woes. While Argentina is the smallest nation by far to reach the grim milestone of 1 million cases. 6,267 people have died from coronavirus in Argentina with a mortality rate of 2.7 percent and a specific coronavirus mortality rate of 579 people per million inhabitants. The situation in Europe is worsening by the day as countries continue to ramp up further restrictions and curfews. Ireland has announced some of Europe's toughest constraints as infections climb again. Hospitals in Spain's capital Madrid struggle as the disease-related hospitalization surge in the country. The World Health Organization has warned the next few months will be difficult, especially for Europe. At the Northern Hemisphere enters winter, we are seeing cases accelerate, particularly in Europe and North America. As cases go up, the number of people needing beds in hospitals and intensive care also increases. Nurses and doctors have a much better understanding of how best to treat people with the virus than they did in the early days of the pandemic. Meanwhile, South Korea's new cases remained under 100 for the fifth consecutive day. However, health authorities remain vigilant over cluster infections at risk-prone facilities such as hospitals.